This is the Nobby 2. It's been fully updated, so it's running product version 2.3. And I'm going to show you how it works with the Angry Birds Go app. And here's one of the carts. You can see it's they're really cute. It has the QR code on the bottom. This is the five set that I purchased from Amazon. Oops, this one's my son's favorite. He likes that one. I don't know if these have names on them or not. But I thought I'd let you get a little peek at each one of them. Here's the magnifying glass that reads the QR code. It uses the camera on the knobby. So if you don't have the app, I want to show you how to get it. Hit download, and you got to hit it right. There we go. Hit download anyway. I promise you, Scott's blog is a trusted resource for apps. You don't have to worry about any kind of viruses. Hit OK and start in the download. My Wi-Fi is being slow, so I'm going to pause this video, and when we come back, it uh, should be downloading. Okay, it is almost done downloading. I think it just finished. Okay, so then you're going to tap on where it says Download Complete and Install. Okay, hit done. All right now, let's go home and let's go ahead and put this in knobby mode. So we'll go to Add Apps, find Angry Birds Go, right there. Place a check, hit your home button, and then go ahead and go into knobby mode. Okay. So let's make this available on one of the home screens. So Angry Birds Go, long press. Drag it to a spot. Now let's open Angry Birds Go. The thing that we found with these is um, give a shout out to Fanatec Alicia or um, Alicia Nobby Mom uh, is that when you put it on here, it has to be pointing down. So the cart has to be facing the bottom of the tablet. That seems to be the only way to make it read. And then it also requires a lot of light. So I've brought my flashlight. Just waiting for it to download. Again, I have slow internet, so I'm going to just pause this until it's finished. Okay, so it's finished downloading. So let's get started. All right, so to scan one of these in, um, it's best to have it laying flat and remove the bumper, just the top part. Okay. So then you're gonna take the magnifying glass, not really laying very flat, so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the whole bumper, just so I can get it to lay flat. Spin out with the cars. Okay, so the um, magnifying glass, let's see if I can get it to focus here. Magnifying glass has a little nub right there and then an indent on the bottom of the cart. So that has to sit right in there. It's not like the Angry Bird Star Wars, it doesn't it doesn't snap on or anything, so it's a little bit hard to hold them on. And then you're just going to set it over top of the camera. Make sure it's all sitting nice and flat. 
So if you have younger kids, they're definitely going to need some assistance with this. Oops. And I'm not making it look easy either. Alright, get it set over top of the camera. Hit the T for teleport. Right here. And if it doesn't discover it, then it's going to need some more light. So I just shine the light up underneath it. And now it's connected. And there's that cart. Hit scan more if you have more. Get set on here. Oh, it's going to verify that one without the light. That's cool. And there's those guys. Hit scan more. There's that little fella. Scan more. There Apparently I've got enough light in here that I don't need the flashlight with the rest of these. Last one. There we go. Oh, that one didn't scan. Which one was that? This one? I think it was this one. Alright, let's hit scan more and try it again. Let's give him some light. And then we can play. Uh, let's just do touch. The tilt does work, but... I'm not good at it. I should get my son in here to play. <laughs> 